Hi guys, so trailer update today is window day. It wasn't going to be window day. I wasn't planning on doing the windows next, but there is a perfect storm of perfect weather happening right now for the next two days that I'm hoping I can get all of the windows, door latches, vent, everything done in the next two days. So I was up early for a meeting this morning and I ran to Home Depot to get the rest of the stuff for the windows. I checked Windy, which is my favorite like wind app, um, and Gus for wind today is only seven miles per hour, which two days ago it was up in the 40s. So we're doing windows today because I was going to insulate the roof next, but I can insulate inside anytime, but I can't cut holes into the trailer just anytime because if it rains, if it's too windy, etc. So that is what we are doing today. So let's get out there and get going. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually open this. So I'm going to break down cost of everything at the end, but this is going to be the most expensive part. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at it back there. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do actually is change the door lock. I just got this off Amazon, as you could see from the packaging. And this part is going to make such a difference. <laughs> because then I won't have to use the arm bar all the time when I lock the trailer and like during the day when I'm just getting in and out. So I will leave this linked obviously in my profile, but I got a silver one because I thought that matches and it's just like an RV lock. The RV door latch is technically officially in. Um, obviously, I wanted this to be able to still go over. So if I were like left at the trailer, I could lock it still with the door handle. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do about that in a minute. Uh, but I ordered something off of Amazon f to make that secure and I don't have it yet. So this... <laughs> um, this was a hot mess. I didn't show you how I did it because no one in the history of the world needs to do it the way I did it. This is not a tutorial. Um, it, there's still a gap. Uh, I didn't cut the hole correctly. It is like secure and I can lock it. So um, it's functional. It just, if there was one thing maybe a professional should have done, it's this one. Uh, it's not very sturdy and I may need to have somebody help me fix it in the future. But for now, it is functioning, I guess. Let's see, I can open it. I don't even want to show you what I did, but like it is gnarly. It's mangled. Um, it's just not like... It's just not my best work because I'm not, I had to use like an extra screw to like keep this level and like not from moving around so much. And then this hole needs to get figured out. Um, but I don't have the right like saw or something to get in here. So I just had to use uh, one of these things. This was definitely the hardest thing that I could have done. I don't know why I did it wrong. I don't know what happened. Um, but see, it closes, it latches, it's not pretty. 
I will get somebody to help me fix it because, like, look, there's gaps in it and stuff. Um, but at least I can shut it without it, um, without closing this because this part was getting annoying. So, yeah, don't take my advice on whatever that is. I made lots of mistakes. Um, and oopsie daisy. All right, whole, first window hole has been cut is a little wonky. I'm gonna have to fill in that corner a little bit, but you know what, if I freaking did it myself, okay? I forgot to film it because I was too excited, but this is what the window looks like. I'll show you here in a second what it looks like in, but I gotta put some butyl tape around it, especially with the wonky corner. Um, but guys, this was way, 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 way easier than the little RV latch. Wow. It took me like two seconds too. Don't be scared to do this yourself. It'll literally be fine. All right. Here is the butyl tape all put on. If you don't know what butyl tape is, it's kind of like an adhesive and sealant all in one. Um, and it takes a while for it to set. So also it's really sticky. So if you're gonna use it they suggest putting it in the fridge because it's easier to work with cold obviously and just like that the window is in and I have to go put the frame in from the inside and I'll talk to you in there Here's the first window. It wasn't great. It wasn't, you know, amazing. But then we got the big window. So I had to finish this off by actually screwing it in because they did not send me a, um, a frame for it. And I know I paid for it. I just looked and checked. So that's kind of depressing. And then... I did the last window and again I needed to screw it in because the frame they sent me um oh I just put my hand in sealant uh didn't also fit I the windows are great but I don't know what's up with the framing so you guys may have to do your own thing research whatever about rec pro i'll talk about it when i do my like breakdown at the end of the video but that's the reality of it <clears throat> this one obviously went in the best because it was my third try on everything and i'm waiting for some sealant to seal this is the state of the outside right now so i have a lot of stuff happening out here so what i think i'm gonna do is I do want to do the roof vent today, but as you can see, I cannot walk into the camper very easily. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to break everything down, clean everything out, because obviously there's like dust and stuff on the ground. I can't even get into my fridge to like eat lunch and stuff. So we're going to do a hard reset first and then finish the roof vent. Um... And as you can see, I did one window higher than the other, but that's because my bench seat is gonna go on this side. So if somebody wants to sit there, I didn't want them to be um, right up against the window. And also if you are sitting on the bench, I wanted to be able to look out this window with it being a little bit lower down. I figured I'd explain that. It doesn't really matter how you have your windows. This is my preference. Oh, well, <laughs> if you wanna do something else, build your own camper and do it yourself. Um, yeah, and then the last thing I have to do is obviously insulate the ceiling after everything gets done, but I can't even start thinking about that yet until, like, this gets handled, and the nice part is, is it's not windy today really at all, so I think I'm gonna have a fire tonight, 
and just burn all of the cardboard and stuff so I don't have to take it to the trash. Um, and I have all that extra wood and stuff that got cut out of the windows and I will just have myself a little fire and get rid of that stuff at the same time and just be done with it. So yeah, cute. I love, oh, I gotta put the screen back down on this one. I just didn't want it to get stuff all over it. Um, anyways, yeah, so maybe I can do a time lapse of me cleaning. Do you guys wanna see that? Sure, sounds great. All right, let's clean. Alright, I'm going to give you a quick update even though it's really windy. I have to leave this area here in like a day. So things are not perfect, but they're getting finished. So this is just sealant. I'm waiting for it to cure and then I will peel off all the excess. I just wanted to be overly cautious with the sealant rather than trying to make it look good because it comes off with soap and water. It's super easy uh, to take off the trim. And I also did the same to this window as well. And then if we go inside, I updated a few things. Okay, so I did put in the roof vent. I didn't film myself doing it because it was like a last second decision last night to do it. The roof vent is in. It has all of the butyl tape and stuff around it. As you can see, it's sealed, it's good. Um, I gaps and cracked both windows um so all I have to do is sand that down and then same thing with this I got most of the craps and cracks and then I started to sand this down just to see how it would look so it's gonna look good I know this is like showing <laughs> this is like showing something in the middle of surgery um but this is how it is in real life so this is what it looks like um but everything is stable it's all good then i decided to there's a, like a stud right here so i was trying to find it as you can see all the different holes um those will get sanded down and filled at some point but not today um so then this chain could stay so then the door doesn't blow open until i can get like a strut for it or something then i put this handle in right on that stud as well so then i can shut the door hard enough to have this lock work. So those are my new little additions for the door. And I cleaned up a little bit in here. I tried to organize. So <laughs> this is now like my toolbox and stuff. And I, there's a ton of trash in here still, but I have to play the trash game by like running it to different gas stations and stuff. So it's gonna kind of accumulate for a second. Um, and then I, was trying out this uh, Gorilla Glue adhesive for the insulation in here. So I can start working on the insulation and I think it's gonna work really well. So I'm gonna just use that to get it to stick to the roof because I have no idea what I'm gonna use on the roof just yet, but it can't be anything too wide because remember this is only a five, six trailer and I'm five, four. So that's why I'm not insulating the floor or past these beams on the ceiling because if I do, I like won't be able to stand in here or wear my hair up in a bun or anything. So yeah, so this is the progress we made so far. It's so much brighter in here. It's way cooler in here, even on hot days. Like it's 70, I don't know, 76 today in the desert and I mean, I'm sweaty because I'm working, but with a breeze, it's like perfect in here. So yeah. Oh, I forgot to say, I also just took that like Gorilla Tape, um, sealant tape and put it around this so far um, until I can get some help to fix that or it may stay like this forever, who knows. Um, just because I'm going to an area that's probably gonna be rainy. And so I just need to make sure it doesn't leak into the door before I can 
figure out what I'm gonna do next, but honestly, it may stay like this forever, who knows? Hello, okay, so here's the quick breakdown for the end of the video. I know this video is kind of long, but it has so many like partial projects going on in the middle. And as you can see, I'm really not like, this is not a tutorial of how to build your trailer. There are so many other channels out there that you can watch if you need a tutorial of how to do things. I should not be teaching this. I honestly am barely doing it on my own as it is. So this is why I'm not making like educational videos of like how to put the windows in and how to do insulation and all that stuff because I don't know enough about it to make a tutorial. This is my literal second build out I've ever done. If you didn't know, I had a RV before that I renovated and that one was super janky and like slapped together as well. And that's how I like to do my projects. I like to just be proud of myself that I did do the work myself. And if things don't look perfect or the window is crooked or like something like that, it's totally fine. Like it can either get fixed in the future or it's just DIY. It's a DIY project. So I promised you guys I would do a breakdown on everything price-wise. So this is the most expensive part of the build because the windows are really expensive and I had to buy all my tools. A lot of people have been asking about the tools, which is really interesting. And I think that's what holds a lot of people back. But if you didn't know, you can rent tools or you can just use hand tools for a lot of this stuff. And I have only purchased four tools. So, and I don't have plans on purchasing anymore. So I have an electric screwdriver. I know a lot of people thought that I was like hand screwing all of the screws. I'm not. I have a Roby or Ryobi or however you say that name, um, electric screwdriver. So that was $24. And then I also have a drill from them and I bought a like combo pack. So it was a drill, a battery and drill bit set. And that was $99. And then I bought a sander which I haven't used yet on camera but I have been testing it out like I said to sand down the wall so that sander was about $45. The jigsaw to be able to cut out the windows and again that was a Ryobi one. I got all the same brand from Home Depot and that was $66 but I had ordered a different one online and they sent the more expensive one so I think I only paid $45 and then I did buy an extra battery for those tools, which again was the most expensive part, which was another $100. So all in all in tools, I can't do the math, but I'll put it here on the screen and on, you know, off the top of my head. And that's how much I spent just on tools. So again, these are things that I'm going to be able to use in the future. They're just going to live in my storage unit other than maybe the drill and the electric screwdriver. I'll probably keep those in the trailer with me, but everything else I can just save for the future. Tools like don't go bad or anything. So it's okay that I spent, you know, an extra couple hundred dollars on that. And then the windows. The windows were the most expensive by far. I got all of my windows from Rec Pro. You can order them through Amazon, but I ordered them directly through their website because um, they were actually less expensive to order and they had more sizing options on their actual website. So I ordered two of those vertical slide windows with the screens and the big window for the back of the trailer and then the roof vent. And then they also had that sealant um in there and the butyl tape that I used so all in all with that that was $517 um so I chose to have a lot of windows because my car has a lot of windows and I wanted a lot of windows do you need that many windows absolutely not I also my roof vent doesn't have a fan if you didn't notice so I didn't get like the most upgraded roof vent I didn't I'm not doing electrical if you didn't um, catch that in some of my previous videos. So I didn't want to have to wire anything to that roof vent. So it is just a vent. It just opens and closes and that's it. Um, so it's, it is the less expensive version, but those windows are more expensive. And I chose the bigger ones because I wanted bigger windows. Again, you can make this as expensive as you want or as cheap as you want. Um, but I chose to make those windows a priority because I wanted a lot of light in there. I know I'm going to be filming in there. The little bits of hardware like that, um, RV lock I think was $24 because it's not an electric one and then the little handles and stuff I got from Home Depot were all less than $5. Sorry I don't have like an exact receipt but these things were all ordered over time um, 
at different points so I'm gonna have to like just give the big chunks and then the only thing about the windows again like I had mentioned earlier in the video is they didn't come with the right sized um frames which kind of annoys me because obviously the windows were so expensive and that big window I paid extra for a frame and I never received it which is fine again I made it work it's totally whatever and I'm going to frame out the windows anyways with some extra plywood that I have like just to make them look nice to cover up those rough edges from my cut so you guys will see that in the future it was the most expensive part and it was the most stressful part because obviously you can screw things up pretty quickly I think I fixed most of my screw ups and so it's totally fine um but yeah now we just have smooth sailing from here and I get to put in my bench that will be my couch slash bed and I'll show you guys what I'm going to obviously do with all of that but there is going to be an in room of painting that comes next I'm gonna have to do all of um I'm gonna have to do the second coat of the green I know that um in the first painting video people were like that needs a second coat you can still see the white and it's because I knew I was gonna have to add a second coat after all of this anyways so I just saved it for now so my next video will be painting and putting back up all the trim so I can appropriately measure out the couch slash bed situation for whenever I'm ready to sleep in there but for now I would really like somewhere to sit that's not just that one chair and I'm pretty sure people want somewhere to sit too so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you aren't too harsh on me in the comments I am a fully new DIYer I'm just proud of myself that I even took on this project and it's turning out as well as it is even though it looks rough I know it looks rough you don't need to tell me it's the same thing with the pop of looking rough but trust me it will all come together in the end but I am just so happy with it and it is so much more usable now and it's so much more peaceful to sit in uh, especially now as things are getting hotter I am like sweating outside I have somewhere to sit that is much cooler the even without the roof insulated in the uh, trailer it is much cooler than the car and it is a obviously much easier space to use and move around in and so that was my only goal and I hope this answers a lot of your questions if there is other ones leave them down below because I can do like a trailer recap Q&A whatever at the end of this series and I can answer all of those so if there isn't something I mentioned leave it below if you're going to be snarky oh well probably won't answer you and I will see you guys on the next one bye